Wait a second, wait, 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 wait. Something is here. Oh, shit. a nail. Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. After riding 3,000 miles across Europe, we are now ready to explore the roads of North Africa. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey around the world and let the adventure begin. like our first hotel breakfast so we are really high class people now we have like uh, some cream cheese oh, yes. this is some honey some marmalade two eggs olives butter and then we have the awesome moroccan bread yes nice and some other bread oh, it's Juice, beautiful coffee tea he i'm in heaven yes <laughs> Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 49 on our around the world trip. We are here at Hotel Caspar Camping Jurassic in the middle of the Ziz Gorge here in the center south of Morocco. And what a location for an accommodation for a hotel. It's absolutely incredible. Surrounded by these amazing cliffs on all sides. We had a really, really nice sleep last night. We booked the room instead of pitching the tent because it was just a little bit more expensive. It was worth it at the end. Like, it was, it yeah. was worth it. And we got an amazing breakfast this morning. Yes. So it's just a great start to the day. So let me show you where we are going to be heading today. We are here at Hotel Casper Camping Jurassic and we are going to be following the N13, winding our way through Er Rashidia all the way down, 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 until the very end at Merzouga. So Merzouga is practically at the very, very bottom of Morocco. There's not much further you can go south before you hit the Sahara Desert. So we have about 160 miles to go, about two and a half hours. It's already 9.15, so better hit the road. Let's go. Thank you very much. Wow, what a location. And they have these sort of like desert style tents here. <sighs> Shukram, thank you. <coughs> All right, time to hit the road. Oh yes. Goodbye Ziz Gorge. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye wow. lovely swimming pool. Oh yeah, that was so cool. <laughs> oh, I loved it. Yeah, it was a really cool place. <laughs> nice! Oh, it's nice to be back on the road. Oh yeah, and uh, just getting changed. The air temperature is so hot that you end up just getting so sweaty before yes. you've even jumped on the bike. Yes. Oh my god, I wish we could just like snap our fingers like we did on the first day. Three, two, one! I don't know how that happened. We just snapped our fingers and we had the whole motorcycle outfit on, completely on. This is the Ziz Gorge and it's on the Ziz River in front and you can start to see the date palms that are lining the river here. It looks amazing. Yeah, what it's like a oasis, eh? Yeah, exactly. A green oasis in the middle of this rocks and sand. Wow, it looks incredible. I never saw an oasis in my life, so I think it looks really, really cool.
Look. Yeah. It's awesome. Wow. Look at this one. Wow. This is absolutely incredible. Wow. It's so incredible. I never saw anything like it in my life, really. It's stunning! Yeah, the architecture and those buildings there, it's absolutely amazing. They're exactly the same color as all the desert around. Yeah, sometimes you, <laughs> you really have to look closely to spot them. And then suddenly you see like a whole like little, little village, you know, in yeah. the mountains. Oh, it's absolutely amazing here. It's so cool. Wow, it's so cool. And uncharacteristically like a desert is actually very grey today. I don't know if that's going to clear up or if it's going to start like raining or something, but it's super grey everywhere. I mean, what a day to come to the desert, hey? <laughs> back and stop at this place here just to enjoy the view you got the Ziz River down here little village over here all these gorges and we had to stop here and make a nice photo shoot <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Ibrahim here, he, he just gave us some ammonites. Look at that. And it's like one thing. Look. Wow. And he split it into two. Incredible. Wow. And we asked him, um, oh, do you want some money for this? And he just said, no, here's a gift for you. Crazy. Incredible. Oh, Ibrahim, nice guy. <laughs> wow. Look at that. I, I did not expect to see a giant lake in the next valley. Oh my god. <laughs> We're just one valley further and it looks like that. I can't believe that they've managed to hold so much water here. I mean, look at the environment. It's so dry here and so just a desert. And then there's like this massive lake in the middle. That's absolutely incredible. Seriously. So this row of palms indicates that we are heading into a town and a quite a big town in this area. This is called Erashidia. Look at the size of its mosque. That's grand. It is grand. Yeah, so this is one of the bigger towns in the region. And so we're gonna be stopping at a Marjan supermarket, pick up some supplies on the way. Lavi's just doing some shopping and I wanted to take a moment a parasol appreciation moment. Look at this. Thanks again, Chris. We love it. I love it. So we're just leaving the last outskirts of Erashidia. And look on the left. 
it just goes from town to just nothing a massive island of buildings and then you come out the other side and it's just again this vast vast emptiness landscape whoa <gasps> what a oasis wow we were just in the massive flat plains of the desert like just going along 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 like okay it just looks flat here all the way and then boom we come down into this massive gorge <laughs> and it's just boom. full of Rain. date palms look how many date palms there are it's incredible wow i really didn't expect that Absolutely beautiful. It is, isn't it? This is just wow. like absolutely remarkable. Absolutely stunning. We just come off the highway and we're just hiding underneath here this sort of covered area at this petrol station because it's getting really hot it's like 32 degrees now and um, yeah we have to keep stopping drink some water we've got uh, some laughing cow cheese <laughs> and some dry sort of bruschetta or bread or something like this and some crisps and some red bull so uh yeah we're just gonna have a little chill out cool down a little bit and then we've got about 45 miles more to go to reach merzuga we are amongst all the date palms now in a uh, sort of small village area yeah and it looks spectacular because you can see like the horse cars going yeah. up and down the roads here yeah like this one here taking the locals from a to b <laughs> super cool <laughs> yeah i mean i feel sorry for the horse but it's so traditional that it's, it's just really charming <laughs> And yeah, you'll see a lot of people on, on uh, bicycles. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> These buildings are so cool looking. Yeah. And the shades, the colors mm -hmm. from like this dark red ochre, the brown and the a bit pink. Wow. I can hear the musk. Oh yeah. There is so much dust and sand in the air. It's so windy. Look over there. We can barely see the buildings. Yeah, it's crazy. It's sort of like a cloudy day, but it's not clouds. It's actually just like sand and dust in the air. Yeah, and the wind gets hotter and hotter as well. Crazy. Look at that. Wow, it is crazy here. It's super, super windy and it's just super open. I mean, I've never seen such a massive flat open landscape and it's basically a massive storm around, almost like a giant sandstorm because I can't see anything in the distance. It's just gray everywhere. It's like 32 degrees wind.
Okay, so we're only a couple of miles now from Merzuga and I don't know if you guys can see but over there to the left this is the reason why we are here. In this place they have massive sand dunes. It's the real Sahara. So this is called Erg Shebi and Erg is basically the name for a big area of sand dunes and Shebi is the name of that Erg. If you look ahead Wow. You can just about see them up in the distance. Those are not mountains. This is all sand dunes. Incredible. So we're going to try and find ourselves a place to stay in town. And then tomorrow we're going to go for a little hike and check them out. <laughs> okay, I think this is Merzuga, the town in the middle of nowhere surrounded by dunes the most incredible town ever i mean of all the unique towns that we've been so far i mean this has to be one of the most unique this is absolutely crazy here and what a day to arrive with just all this sand everywhere whoa look up ahead wow that is unique i can't believe we've driven all the way from england to the Saharan sand dunes. I mean, that's insane. Uh, the people keep trying to stop us, but we've got the accommodation that we're going to try and go to, the, the camp that we're going to try and go to, so we're going to try not to stop. Yeah. But oh I mean, God. there's a lot of people trying to stop us. A lot of people trying to stop us. Oh no. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh. oh, no, thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Wow, I can't believe how many people have tried to already stop us yeah. since we arrived in town. Yeah. Like, and they really, really want you to stop. They're like really, really trying. They're like, whoa, 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 what are you doing? You're crazy. And you're like, well, I'm just driving down the street. Look, Le Roche Piscine. This is the place. Oh, perfect. This is the place we're going to. Okay, cool. Okay, let's, um, let's stop here mm -hmm. and see what's going on with this place. Yeah, yeah. So basically, a guy on a quad bike came and said, Oh, follow me. I give you a campsite for half the price of this guy. So here he is with his quad bike. Yes. Yeah, so here they said it would be 10 dirham for the night. 100 dirham. 100 dirham for the night, sorry. And 100 dirham is like 10 euro. And then he said, I give you a, a place for 50, euro, 50 dirham for the night. Yeah. 5 euro for a camp spot. Yes, and I say to him like, no camera riding, no quad, no food, nothing extra charge. And he said, no, no extra charge. I'm like, well, then we have a deal. And he said we could make it with this bike, which I hope he doesn't overestimate our skill level. <laughs> but he said that it wasn't too difficult. We booked one place already here, and then they said, oh, you can't access it from the road, so it's going to be, instead of 10 euro, it's going to be 30 euro for the pickup, plus 10 euro for the night, so 40 euro in total, which is like three times the price of the accommodation to pick us up. So. So anyway, hopefully this one works out and we can get a place for five, five euro for the night just to pitch our tent going off to the right. <laughs> it doesn't have indicators. These are our indicators here. Getting better and better, sweetheart, with your off-road skills. Well, I am going to have to, hey. Or uh -oh, riding on sand here? I mean, we're following a quad bike. This guy can go up dunes and he's like, follow me on my quad bike. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. Insane. He literally followed us down the road. He <laughs> saw us on the road and followed us and stole us from the accommodation. Yes. Like did. right right in front of the owner. And then I yeah. just said to the owner, well, this guy's a businessman, you know, what can we do? Yeah, if he, he has the better deal, I go with it. He said it's closer to the dunes. He said it's only five euro for the night. Yeah. I like, count me in, buddy. Whoa. Okay. I didn't fall off, but... Very good. Can I Wait. Put the sand down? Yeah. No, I can't put the sand down. It's okay. buried in sand. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, I, I will jump off from this side here. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. And I'm just going to walk it through. Oh, 
<laughs> okay i think my uh i think uh, this camera probably died on the way but wow look at where we are and what your name yusuf yusuf welcome, welcome. 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 thank you thank you yusuf whoa the desert look at where we are crazy. that was a crazy ride i've never ridden like that Something here, oh. problem. Look at this, this is a beautiful, beautiful place to camp, no? Amazing. You are, you are free here, here, here. You are in your country. Whoa. Free, free. Uh, Make as you like. Shukram, shukram, Yusuf. Yeah, as you like, it's for you. Okay, we've decided on a spot just in front of the dunes, just past these little huts. So, I've got a bit of sand to get over there. So, I'm going to try my best here. Go nice and slow. All right, here we go. Whew. Okay, nice and easy, nice and slow, nice and easy, nice and slow, nice and easy. Oh, that traction by Dunlop is great. No problems. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at that. Taco! Yes, what a place. Amazing. And this was five euro for the night to be here in front of Ergshibi sand dunes. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. Let's get our tent set up. Yeah. Welcome to Morocco. Woo, woo. day <laughs> look at where we've ended up the tent is set up bumblebee is here and the sand dunes are right behind all around us look at this this is a crazy place <laughs> very crazy place and there's rooms also in the casbah which is behind owned by the same guy really thankful that we could pitch up our tent here the hotel owner was absolutely agreeing it and said yeah no worries so that's pretty pretty cool from sunstorm to hopefully a very nice night sky tonight after driving through the most incredible landscapes from the Ziz Valley and the oasis that we went through to end up here just right in front of Ergshabi the giant sand dunes here the Sahara Desert this is just 
incredible it's incredible here <laughs> and by the way guys uh, we haven't said it in a little while so we're gonna have to say it again but we are selling these t-shirts yeah our overlander t-shirts we designed them ourselves we're selling them on our etsy store which is in the link in the description so if you want to support us support the channel and help us to fund this adventure then please head to that etsy store and buy one today we just got a new box in stock with tons of every size so please <laughs> we would really appreciate if you bought one of these because we do really love camping but now and then a room is very appreciated as well <laughs> <laughs> so that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the episode if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel please share with your friends and family and comment below we will see you next time I can't believe it's raining and there's a storm in the Sahara. Probably the one time in a year. <laughs> That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. The guy from the Kaspar just next to us, um, he owns this little area and he just came out and said, you know what, if you want, you can just upgrade to a room tonight. Five euro more, so that would be 10 euro for tonight. So, I think after looking at what's happening right now, it's probably a good idea that we just take a room. I mean, it would be lovely in the desert, but look at this. Okay. I think it's not gone through. I don't think it's gone through. Hold on. Oh god, it's really stuck in there. Hold on a minute. that's not gone through into the actual tire. Wow. I can't, I can't hear anything. Okay. So I think, um, I think it might be okay.